So today we're going to do the unboxing of the Amazon Kindle HD. Um, so this is the you know low end, El Cheapo uh, tablet version of uh, Amazon's Kindle series. I say it's El Cheapo because it retails for around a hundred bucks, um, but the quality of this uh, tablet is amazing. Um, so let's let's uh, take it out the box and see. So I've already taken it out before, as you can tell. Because normally there would be a protective film on the front of the tablet that you can take off. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you do take it out of the box. So it's the tablet. And then we have in here, we have our power supply, which is a North American type plug. And of course we have our um, USB cable that plugs into the power supply. It's a USB 2.0 cable, as you can see. USB 2.0 and then the mini USB here. Um, that's that. And then we have the Kindle Fire HD um, instruction manual and the um, warranty booklet. Now the instruction manual, what I like about it, it's that it really is international. It comes in 14 languages. So the actual instructions themselves are just on one page. So we start with English um, and then you have Dutch and whatnot. And as you can see, the, the, the range of languages is, is pretty cool. You have English, German, Spanish, Finnish, French, Italian, Japanese, Norwegian, Dutch, uh, Brazilian, Portuguese, Portuguese, Swedish, simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese. Um, what I like about this, it's very simple. It just shows you, you know, where the volume key is, uh, where's the headphone input jack, power button, USB port, and how you unlock it. Pretty intuitive. Um, so, looking at the uh, tablet itself, first impressions, it's a nice compact size. Um, you know, you can hold it in one hand and then you use the other hand to um, navigate. What I like about this as well is that um, the bezels are pretty, pretty large. You know, top and bottom bezels are roughly an inch uh, in size and then you have roughly a three quarter inch bezel on the sides if you're holding it in portrait mode. So what's good about that, you can you know read and use the tablet and not have to worry about your hands you know, opening an application by mistake. Uh, on the back, if you can see there, there is the Amazon logo, which is um, imprinted in the back of the tablet. Um, the back has a rubberized feel, which is pretty good. So on, on surfaces, it you have to really push it to make it move. So you don't have to worry about it sliding off an inclined surface and falling on the ground and just smash into pieces. That would really suck. <laughs> anyway, so what we also have here, we have our volume key, we have our power button, and here you have your speaker, your external speakers. Now, uh, initial uh, observation here with the speakers, if you're watching a movie or you're listening to you know music or whatever, or yeah, you're, you're watching a movie, um, you're, you're gonna hold it like this, right? If you hold it like that, your hands are going to cover the speakers. And even if you turn it around and change the orientation and you hold it like this still, your fingers will still cover the speakers, right? So you just have to be cognizant of that. Um, you know, at least anyway, you do have your three and a half millimeter um, jack where you can plug in your headphones and, you know, you can, you know, just hold it in such a way that, you know, you can still hear the music come through or the sound come through the speakers. Um, just you just have to move your hand around. Uh, another observation too, so if you look at the side, it's actually like an angle, looks like a trapezium. Um, so I, what's good about that, it's, it actually you know, feels a bit more solid in your hand. Uh, so I guess they put it like that, like you know, design the ergonomics of the, the tablet such that it you know, has a, a good grip, a good feel to it when you hold it in your hand. Because don't forget, the target market for this tablet is you know, people who want an e-reader. And I also want the capabilities of a typical tablet where you can download other applications and, you know, play games, uh, stream movies, you know, listen to, to music and stuff like that. So pretty good. Um, and um, so in terms of the specs on this device, so it's a seven inch screen diagonally. Um, the actual dimensions of the tablet itself, it's seven and a half inches long, five inches wide and about 0.42 inches deep, right? Um, it weighs about 12, just over 12 ounces, 
and it weighs just over 340 grams. I believe to be exact, it's like 345 grams. So it has a decent feel weight to it, not too heavy, uh, but maybe, you know, after a long while of holding it, because I mean, you can, you know, use this for up to 10 hours uh, of you know, reading in an ebook or just doing regular surfing. So if you're, you're doing long periods of reading, you may get, to, you may start to feel the weight uh, take toll on your hands after a while. But uh, it's not that, you know, it's really not that heavy, but you know, to some people it may be after a while. Um, the screen itself, it has 216 pixels per inch, which is pretty good for a tablet of this, uh, of this price. And the resolution is 1280 by 800. And it can play video um, up to 720p uh, video playback, which is pretty good. Um, and this come, this is a 16 gigabyte version. It also comes in, 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 eight, in eight, as an eight, um, gigabyte uh, flavor as well um, but that's that that actually provides an excellent segue into ex external external um, memory there is no slot for external memory so just take note when you get the 8 gig that's already gonna get when you get the 16 gig that's already gonna get but then again if this is targeted for people who just want an e-reader ebooks don't really take up that much space and uh, if you're streaming movies you don't have to you know, keep the movie resident on the tablet and music, you know, you can you can put quite a bit of music on, on on eight gigs or sixteen gigabytes. So it's you know it's it's and then the games they don't really take up that much as well, especially for the smaller games anyway, like uh, Angry Birds and whatnot. They don't take up much <laughs> um, space on your tablet. Anyway. Uh, battery life, they say this can last up to ten hours uh, when you're reading or doing light stuff like surfing the web. Um, and it takes about six hours to fully charge it. It comes with Wi-Fi, of course, built-in uh, Wi-Fi radio. And it can do 802.11a, b, and g as well. And I believe it can do 802.11n, um, which is pretty good. So it works on the you know the latest using the latest uh, Wi-Fi um, um, protocols. So um, let's uh, turn it on and let's give you an idea of what um, looks like inside the um, here so power switch so I already set up for Wi-Fi um, so you just slide this way to turn it on so what I'm going to do I'm just going to lower the light so you can actually see the screen better see how that looks ah there you go so at the top there is your menu and you can if you look across the top you have options like shop, games, apps, books, music, videos, web, photos, docs. So it's a left to right. What I like, um, you have like your three, uh, I guess call these hot apps. You have your maps. Uh, you can shop directly at Amazon. And, I, and you know, actually four. Um, you know, your Silk browser and in access access your mail so I've already configured any of these but let's see if I click into maps so you have a map here so you can zoom in and zoom out so it's very fluid like when you touch it you know to have some tablets out there you have to pretty much hit the tablet really hard and press hard and to get the, the screen to move this it's very very fluid and it reacts to my you know finger motions very well pinch and zoom very very fluid I uh, love that um, so let's go back here and then of course you can shop directly uh, at Amazon see Kindle or most affordable Kindle 79 Canadian so it's uh, again even surfing um, very very fluid I'm barely touching the screen here and she you know it's very very rea uh, reacts very well to my, my motions uh, let's see what else we have and of course this is the browser their silk browser um, and the default landing page is Amazon uh, let's see what it's like if I wanted to type in um, there you go so let's go to CNN.com go okay so that's pretty good and yeah there's like a one second lag between when you you know switch from portrait to landscape but you know that's cool and what else do we have here let's go back out that's your back key I'll press home 
um, and then you have your mail. So of course I don't have my mail set up, but you can set up your Gmail uh, within a couple of minutes and you're good to go. So if we go across the top here, um, so the shop uh, takes you to, lost my connection. So you can actually shop on Amazon's webpage and you can shop for books on their bookstore. There you go. Very nice. Uh, so again, this is designed for people who want to read books and you know use it as an e-reader. So and what's lovely about it is that you get it in full color. <laughs> um, you have games. I think there's some games on here as well, so you can buy games. All right. And then apps. So this is, these are the default apps that are built in that come with the device. You know, basic calculator, calendar clock contacts, um, music player, whatnot, weather, and you name it, and then we have music, so you have your built-in music player here, I don't think there's anything on this uh, that you can play, but you can transfer your music off of your, um, onto this from your USB, um, obviously there's no USB port, but what you can do, um, we do have a port on this, I'll turn back on the lights in a second, to show the uh, well, the mini USB port here, but I'll show you when I turn the lights back on. Um, and then you have your video player um, here. Don't believe there's anything installed yet. And um, and then you have your document document reader, all right? So you can access your library and all of that. With that being said, let's go back out here now. What else do we have? So of course when you you can swipe from the top you can also swipe from the top to get access to features like turn it on and off auto rotate you can set the brightness access to your wife uh, wireless con um, configuration you can go into quiet time mode I believe that means that the device does not buzz or or make any noise um, and uh, one other thing I want to show you um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so it's a very simple device, low cost, um, but it does, you know, exactly what it's 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 built to do, i.e., you know, be an excellent e-reader. Um, you can use it to shop from Amazon, download books, um, and, you know, play a couple of games on the side, access your your mail, um, and play some music and whatnot. So it's a simple, uh, you know, uh, device. I like it in that it's it's compact and it's you know low price. That's one of one of the best features about it. So what I wanted to show is that here we have uh, our mini USB port here for charging, um, and uh, uh, it's uh, you know as far as like the screen, it's an excellent screen, um, and it's very very you know reacts very well to my finger. So that's it for the uh, Kindle. HD um, from Amazon definitely a good buy this is an excellent gift for for Christmas and, and for birthdays because it only costs around $100 um, again just remember that it doesn't come with any expansion ports for memory so you, what you buy is what you get uh, but then again if you're just reading books and magazines and just checking your mail um, yeah, and you want to play like you know Angry Birds or something this is perfect for you so that's the uh, Amazon uh, Kindle HD